Hi, I'm David and I'd like to show you how to assemble one of my steam engines. This is the steam engine we're going to be building today. It comes in a cherrywood case with the serial number of the steam engine on this side and room for personalization for the gift on this side. Inside the case there is a tool tray with the five tools used in the assembly process. Also, the 30 pieces that go to make up the steam engine. So, we start with the chassis first. The chassis, inscribed with the serial number and my maker's mark, is where we start. So, we put on the, the buffers. And the towing eyes. Now this takes a little bit of dexterity, but it is surprising how quickly the younger children pick up what's needed. And of course you do have to work out what has to go where. So with the buffers and the towing eyes in place, the next job is to put the three axles in. And then the six wheels. The wood is all polished cherry. It's very, very nice to handle and makes a lovely sound. The wheel nuts are domed and are used to secure the wheels. So first of all, you put them on with your fingers so as not to cross the threads and then when they're all on using the socket and ring spanner you can just nip them up which will hold the wheels on and stop the nuts falling off so with the chassis complete the next task is to put the boiler cradle on this is the boiler cradle and it locates over these two holes here and is held in place with two wooden screws. The screwdrivers are built like this for safety's sake. So the next piece to go in is the boiler. Now the boiler sits in the cradle, but it has to go the right way, so when it's in the right position, if you turn it slowly, it will clip in place. This is achieved with these two holes here, locating over the top of the two screws. The boiler is held down with the steam control valve, and this little tool is used to screw that down. Next is the front boiler cover. Start it off and finish it off with the tool. And then the funnel simply screws in the top. And as you can see, we're nearly there. The cab is located over this plate, so it's in the, roughly the right position. And then again, using the large socket and this big bolt which goes in here that fixes the cap so last on this roof and here we have the steam engine I always try and encourage the children when they're done to 
put their tools back in the tray, keep the workshop tidy. When my grandson put together his first steam engine, he pushed it backwards and forwards a couple of times to make sure it worked. And then the first thing he said to his daddy was, can we take it apart again? Which of course you can. Having had fun building the steam engine, the next piece that logically goes behind the steam engine is the coal tender. Now the coal tender comes apart and goes back together in much the same way as the steam engine does, uh, using the same tool kit, tool set from the steam engine itself. And following on from the coal tender, there is now the third piece in the collection, the steam engine collection, which is the passenger carriage. And again, everything comes apart, goes back together using the steam engine toolkit. 